Avalon Farms was started in the 1930s by my great-grandparents. We are a fourth gen four generations farm here at Avalon Farms. We've done everything from raising pigs to milking cows to growing hydroponic vegetables. So we're pretty broad spectrum. We don't currently have any animals on the farm anymore other than dogs. So that's pretty much it for those. We started our greenhouse business in 1999, 1998. Um, we started out with tomatoes and lettuce, and then we've grown into growing in hoop houses to encompass everything from ginger to lettuce to kale, all kinds of different greens. And then outside we raise a variety of vegetables, a lot of sweet corn. In order to market all of those, we go to restaurants, grocery stores, we do a CSA program that we call a share of the farm. We also go to seven farm markets and supply some corporate companies like Kellogg Foundation and a couple other entities where we sell a lot of produce to the, their kitchens. We originally started the Share of the Farm program after the first year of raising tomatoes in the greenhouse. We ended up having a lot more and we were looking for another way to market them because it, farm markets hadn't, weren't really big then so we weren't selling all everything we were producing so we thought oh hey we've heard about this from some other areas we visited a couple of operations that did a CSA program and we are do a modified what we call a modified CSA program we do we deliver to and they can pick up here at the farm we also no one comes here and works so we they don't actually have to work to get any of their produce we deliver to their homes, to businesses, and we try to make it easy for them. We also supply fruits and vegetables. Not that we, we don't grow the fruit ourselves. We get that from other farmers all over Michigan. That program started out with about 17 customers, and at our high point, we're doing about 200 weekly deliveries to 200 families. So it's grown tremendously, and it kind of comes and goes each year. We see more or less, just kind of depending on what happens. It's steady that really helps out a lot. We don't have to depend on if it's a bad weather on a Saturday and maybe we don't sell too much at the market. We know we have, a st we have steady income and we have a steady place to send all the things that we produce. So things don't get overripe. We don't have very much loss on produce. So it makes it a little bit easier for us to plan also. I think the one thing that we've learned over all of this is that customer service is always going to be the most important part and it's and customer service at your farm markets, with our restaurant clients and with our CSA clients. You have to be really understanding and really doing a lot of education for all the people that are coming out here. There's a lot of information, especially on the internet. A lot of it is not that accurate. It definitely doesn't take into account uh, traditional farming practices and there's a lot of beliefs and it sometimes is hard to balance those traditional beliefs versus the what's out there and how to merge those those ideas so that they still understand why you do the things that you do so we've learned that we also have had to learn to not underestimate the amount of labor it takes especially from the hydroponics end of it what we've learned is there was a, we were we were not misled but it ends up taking more man hours than what they had given us for that information and to have a marketing background that I had really helped out because you have to have some idea of how to market to people you know you have to have good communication both on your website and communication via email and voicemails and it's hard to keep up on all that stuff so just don't underestimate the time it takes to do all those things you can grow the crop but you have to figure out how you're going to get it delivered and how to service those customers so you have to have, have, to have a really realistic idea of what it actually takes to make that happen.